Hey, so how do you even create your own OC? We're gonna talk about it. The secret to making OCs is all in one list. And look, I can show you that list right here. See this? See this list? This list right here. This is all you need. And you'll have made a character. And not only that, a character who is pretty complex as far as like making a character quick goes. So we're gonna fill out this form together and it'll be fun, okay? You don't get a choice. We're gonna fill this form out together. So we start off with our gender. Uh, shoes, whatever. I'm gonna go with male. Age, choose whatever age. I'm gonna go with 21. 21's a nice number. Sexuality, go with whatever you want. I'm gonna go with straight. Hair color, different from hair type. Make that distinction. Hair color, I'm feeling pretty gold right now. Hair type, I feel curly. Now eye color, it's interesting. Let's say, I think I want, mm, this is becoming too close to one of my characters that already exists. Uh, that's a problem that happens when you have like over a hundred characters. Uh, let's go for green. That's different and new. Pants. I think I want them in a skirt. So skirt dresses, dresses go in the shirts category, uh, skirts go in the pants category. And for their shirt, I think a button up. Now accessories. This can be anything from tattoos to necklaces to, uh, earrings, anything like that. So, for this, I'm gonna go with bracelets, which is another accessory. And for the shoes, I'm thinking, hmm, flip-flops. Now, good traits. You wanna pick at least three of these. Good traits and bad traits, you want three of each. So, let's say, He's kind, generous, and, uh, let's say faithful. Is there two L's or one L in faithful? Whatever. Bad traits. Now we can say he's m maybe lazy. And maybe he's got bad breath. Doesn't brush his teeth. And then maybe say... They... You don't want to have anything that conflicts. So I was about to say maybe he's a heartbreaker. But heartbreaker would conflict with faithful. So we don't want that. So... Lazy, bad breath, and see how it's easier to think of good things than bad things? It's so much easier to be positive than negative when you're on medications that make you happy all the time. Anyway, uh, lazy, bad breath, and we'll say they're ignorant. Because you can still be kind and ignorant. Ignorant just means you ignore the things in front of you. And their favorite food is going to be pizza. A character's favorite food tells a lot. You might think, favorite food? That's useless. Favorite food tells a lot about a person. <laughs> pets? You can write no. No pets. I don't feel like pets this time. Their favorite color? Uh, let's say yellow. You can also tell a lot from your favorite color, because colors have meanings and connotations towards them. Like red is angry and blue is sad. Stuff like that. And yellow is very bright and happy. So this person is also probably very bright and happy. Now, with that in mind, their hobbies, I think, are going to be art. Make three hobbies as well. Art, hiking, and let's say skiing. I don't think that's how you write skiing. We're going to change it because I don't know how to write skiing. Art, hiking, and I'm so illiterate. <laughs> Art, hiking, and cooking. And I feel like they're pretty short for a guy. So we're gonna say five foot two. And their job, I'm feeling like this person is 
a illustrator. I think that they're gonna be, let's say they're dark skinned, so there. I know that's not a race, technically, but skin color. You can take out race and write skin color. Okay? So now that we've filled out our list, let's get to creating. I'll do that. You guys do that if you follow along with me and wrote your own things down. You start drawing, I'm going to start drawing, and we'll meet up again in what'll be like two minutes for you. But for me, it's going to be like an hour. <laughs> let's get drawing. going to shade it because that would take more time time <laughs> uh, what was that laugh whatever uh, I'm not gonna shade it because that would take more time and time is all that I have but I wanted to keep this video short so as you can see I've made my character now the only thing left to do is give them a name and now you can do this as easy as pie by getting a random name generator or get a name from uh, that's already in your head. Like, for example, I know I want this le one's last name to be Crowd. Because he reminds me of one of my other OCs, so I decided they'll be related. So this is August Augustine. 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 Augustine Crowd. Augustine Crowd. And you can see... He's kind, generous, faithful, lazy, bad breath, ignorant. He's got all those lovely traits. And so now you pretty much know main things about him. If you ask me something, and now that I have this sheet, I can pretty much think up on the fly anything about him, and it'll be pretty in character for him. So that was my short little video on how to make OCs, and I hope it helped out, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, bye bye